iOS 13 is coming shortly and with it a revamped Reminders app. The Reminders app has been around for many years without receiving any attention. It used to have this weird complicated design where lists appeared like rewards cards do in the Wallet app. In iOS 13, things are changing with the all new simple design. First, let's start by talking about lists. Lists are now listed out, allowing you to see all of your lists easier. You can create a new list by clicking the Add List button in the bottom left corner of your screen. Upon creating a new list, give it a good name, then choose an image and a background color. If you change your mind about the image, name, or color, you can always change it later. Now that you have your new list, you're ready to open and add items to it by clicking the plus New Reminders at the bottom right of the screen then type out your reminder. While entering a reminder, a shortcut menu will appear above the keyboard to attach a time, location, flag, or attach a picture or document. To edit the details of your reminder, click the I next to the reminder. And then from details, you can attach a website link or URL, enter a custom date and time, set priority, move the reminder to another list, and attach a photo. Once you have successfully completed a reminder, tap the dot next to the reminder. To edit your list, click the three dots at the top left next to the list name. This will give you more options for editing and sharing your lists. The first option will allow you to change the name, icon, and background color, or the options that you saw while you were originally creating the list. You can share your list by clicking Add People, then choosing how you would like to share the link to allow others to join your list. Upon sharing a list with someone, you will get a new option labeled View Participants, where you can remove access for some people and share the link with more people, or ultimately stop sharing altogether. Also in the three-dot menu, you can delete the list, edit the list to remove or reorder individual reminders, and show all completed reminders from that list. Now let's go all the way back to the reminders home screen to take a more detailed look. At the top are four default filters, so you can see only the reminders scheduled for today, all of your scheduled reminders, all of your reminders, and flagged reminders. Under the filters are where all your lists are organized, which you can reorganize into groups by clicking edit at the top left corner just above the search bar, then click Add Group in the bottom right hand side. Give it a name, then if you already have the list created, you can add them now. From Edit, you can use the three lines next to a list to move your lists and groups into your preferred order. If you have a lot of reminders, then the search functionality may be helpful. If you scroll down, the search bar will appear for you to search for a list or individual reminders. Settings for the Reminders app can be found in the System Settings app by closing Reminders and opening Settings, Reminders. Here you can set the default list. This is a list that Siri will automatically add reminders to when you request her to do so. If you set a reminder for a specific day with no time but still want to receive a notifications at a default time, then enable Today Notification and underneath set a time that you would like to receive a notification for those reminders. Lastly, Show as Overdue will highlight reminders if they were not marked as completed on the day they were supposed to. And that's the Reminders app, the app for creating to-do lists and great for shopping lists. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and go to appleguideweb.com to read more on this and many other topics. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer. And be sure to follow at AppleGuideWeb on Twitter, Facebook, WordPress, and Instagram to stay up to date with all the latest things happening here at AppleGuide. And all these links are in the video description below. Thanks for watching.